What you guys got another video here for you. Today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Package Manager. Now the other day I made a video about chocolatey and a lot of people uh, like that but also there's a few people that said it was a bit too complicated for them and they'll probably skip it. So this one is to make it a lot more easier for you which is chocolatey GUI. Now the GUI interface is going to make it so much more easier. What you need to do is do one bit of code which is this one here which is a Choco install a chocolatey GUI. Open up your PowerShell with administrator privileges here by clicking on this. This will open up the box and then say yes to the user account control. Once you're in here, just put this tiny bit of code in here and this will give you the chocolatey GUI interface, which is going to make it very easy. That is the GUI interface command that you'll need to put in here. Say Y for yes on a couple of these here and get this installed. Once you've got this installed, this is going to give you access to a heap of programs via a GUI interface, which can, means you can search for them and install them. And I'll show you that in a second. So let me just quickly get this installed so I can show you here. So there's the install part done. That's all you need to do, that one little bit of code inside your uh, PowerShell. Very simple and easy to do. So let's go ahead and close off the PowerShell here and take a look at our GUI. So first off, let me go ahead and uh, put a shortcut onto my desktop here. So you can click on this and you can see GUI has been installed here. So I'm just going to put this to a shortcut on my desktop here. And that should give us chocolatey GUI on our desktop. So when we click on this now, say yes to the user account control and basically up will come chocolatey. As you can see, it's a GUI interface, which makes it a lot more easier to navigate, especially for people that don't know much about PowerShell. This will do all of that for you. You can see Discord, CPU Z, a bunch of other programs inside here that I've got installed on this system, Rufus, OBS. You can install all of these via Chocolatey a GUI interface here. You can do a search for these programs up the top. And this will be Note Plus Plus or whether it be browsers, VLC, whatever it is you want to install, you can do a search for it. You can see this one's installed here. When you double click on these, it will tell you there's a little tick here and this tells you that it's already installed on your system. It also gives you some information about the producer of this particular type of program that's going to be installed. And there's uh, sometimes loads of information there. I'll show you this in a bit uh, where we can take a look uh, on something that's not installed. You can see there's a green box there that says installed. So let's go ahead and install something that is not installed. For instance, this is internals. So you can see when I click on Sys internals here, rather than go to the Microsoft website, I can now just click on this install button here. This will go off and pull that down and get it installed on my system. There's also a console output here, which you can click on and it will show you what's going on in the background, why it's installing. And I'll quickly show you that in a second. And this basically just shows you uh, basically how it's installing this in the background. So you don't have to go into um, command prompt or PowerShell uh, to install this it does it all for you on the front end here with this GUI interface which makes it much more easier for people that are not uh, familiar uh, with PowerShell or command prompts or any of those types of uh, features. So are these applications safe to install? A lot of the uh, Chocolatey community will monitor everything that's happening on the Chocolatey platform so you can be rest assured that a lot of this stuff is safe. And it also gives you virus total updates and things like that. You can see it's getting installed. It's installing all of the Sys internals applications onto the system here for me. You can also download and install uh, NIR launcher as well. So you can get access to the packages that you've just downloaded on here. There's also some other bits and pieces you can do uh, via Chocolatey. So let me just go ahead and get this uh, NIR uh, launcher here and we'll get this installed so we can see what this looks like as well. So I'm going to click on this. This will take us to the website here. So I'm up the page, agree to their terms and conditions. And you can see here, it's given me a bit of code here to download and install this. Now you can probably do this via the GUI interface as well. If I went and search for it on there, but let me just quickly show you here. You can do it via both methods as well, like uh, PowerShell as well. So let me just quickly do that for you here. I'm going to open up PowerShell. And once this is installed, we will be able to get access to all of those programs via the uh, NIR launcher. Now, sometimes NIR launcher or Neurosoft uh, types of uh, software 
will get flagged as viruses and malware. And I get the comment section blown up saying, this is a virus, it's this, it's that. It's not a virus, it's just a false positive. It's just the nature of these programs of what they're actually doing. Some of these are password uh, reset tools, um, Windows key uh, finders and stuff like that. And they will get flagged as, uh, you know, malicious tools when really they're not. This company has been around for a long time producing loads of useful tools like uh, Blue Screen View, and loads of other useful tools. They'll all be here listed. This tool is pretty decent, and some of these will get flagged, as I said, by uh, your Windows Defender or by other antivirus programs. And that's basically it. So they are false positives. They're safe to use. I've been using them for many, many years. Uh, there is no viruses in them. It's just the nature of the program and software and what it's actually doing. So let's just do one more here. I'll do Spotify here, just get this installed. And basically, you can install and uninstall via this uh, GUI interface. Makes it very easy for people that are not used to it. So let me just quickly go ahead and install this. And I think we'll call this video done. So I wanted to make this video just because there was a few people that were interested in the actual installation process and also about uh, chocolatey, but they wasn't quite familiar with the PowerShell. So I wanted to bring this video with the GUI interface, which makes it a lot more easier for those people and you can see spotify now is being installed on the system and once that's done we can then open this up and you'll be able to use spotify let me just open this up there we go and it's now working that's that simple all the information can be found on chocolatey.org just install a chocolatey from there and then you can run the gui interface command and that should get you up and running a big special thanks to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Bye for now.